Good morning, everyone. My name is Wesley Corkill. I'm with the Douglas County Fire Marshal's Office. I'm a fire safety inspector and a fire safety educator. Today, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about uh, proper fire extinguisher using and how you utilize it in a fire. Uh, always remember, it's kind of a last ditch effort. You know, if it's a smaller fire, we'd say you, you probably can kind of do that, but you guys can make your own. As far as fighting it, you, you can kind of make your own judgment. Um, Again, we, we do encourage guys to, or folks to get out of the house first, uh, but if, it is, if it's a last minute thing and you have to do it in order to get out safely, we, we strongly encourage it and we wanna show you how, how to do that today. Um, next to me, I have two different type of fire extinguishers. They are both ABC, um, just to kind of give you a rundown on ABC and the types of fires they do fight. A is a anything that's ash, whether it be paper, cardboard, uh, that type of uh, burnt, uh, a type of material. Uh, B is anything that can go into a bucket, whether it be gasoline, anything liquid. And C is going to be current, uh, which deals specifically with electricity, any type of electrical fire that you may encounter. Um, that being said, I can kind of show you a little bit about the simulator we do use here. It's a Lion. It is a digital simulator and we can literally put any type of fire on it and we'll, that these fire extinguishers will put out, that is, um, under normal circumstances. We can put either one of these, uh, use either one of these extinguishers to fight this fire. Let me go ahead and demonstrate that and uh, you guys can kind of see how it works. So we've got a class A fire right here and we've got it started up pretty good. All right. So when we take the fire extinguisher, you want to pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. And it's literally just that easy. Um, again, they come in numerous sizes. You can have a five pound, 10 pound, or 20 pound. Those are the most um, reputable ones and the easiest ones to find. If you guys um, have any questions, we're more than happy to help here at the Douglas County Fire Marshal's office. And I appreciate you guys coming out and, and uh, spending a little time with me.